What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've had a video but we have, will have a couple coming out today and over the next few days because eFootball 2023 is coming out tomorrow. So this time tomorrow we will be playing it. They have announced a couple of new details mostly about the premium club pack AC Milan and they've also got the Inter trailer out now as well which just launched a couple of minutes ago while I was recording this so I had to go back and record it but yeah, look, lads, I mean, we all want gameplay additions, we all want modes, we all want gameplay improvements. I think that V1.1.4 at the moment is a very, very, very difficult um, gameplay experience. It's very mixed. When it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's infuriating. That's just my personal experiences with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are obviously going to be coming out with the cards. They are going to be promoting these cards because that is what the mode is at the moment. You know, Dream Team is the mode where you buy coins, you buy cards, you unlock stuff. I do think they need to balance it. I think that they have the cards and the players fairly balanced, but I think they need to balance between playing, you know, as a free experience and playing as actually buying coins a little bit better or a lot better. Um, but we do get confirmation on eFootball 2023. And they say, as we transition towards eFootball 23 with the imminent V2 update, we are holding a special login campaign. So basically, they're going to give you two contract renewals that you will be able to renew your players with. Again, there isn't very clear instructions on how the contracts are going to work when the season changes over from eFootball 22 which we have at the moment as of right now to eFootball 2023 because there is going to be a large scale maintenance and then obviously we are also going to be having a lot of people that will have players like absolutely unbelievable players um, in their squad and it, it hasn't really been said whether or not we're going to be able to carry on playing with the same contract we have for eFootball 22 and again it's all just kind of like up in the air at the moment so there is a little bit more information here they say that we will be releasing V2 for eFootball 2022 I think this is a bit of a typo obviously because obviously I don't know if they are going to be classing eFootball 2022 V2.0 as the same as eFootball 2023 V1.0. So I know it is a bit confusing as I'm even confused just saying it out loud but I think I understand the logic in what they're doing in saying that effectively eFootball 23 will be you know the next version like the full version. So at the moment we have V1.1.4 we're not going to V1.1.6 or V1.1.7. We're going straight to v V2.0. So I think that's what it will be. Um, you know, and obviously it's a little bit of a typo there. Again, they talk about a chance deal. And again, they give some more additional information regarding the updates here where they're saying that there's going to be a new update, events, rewards, um, you know, default home and away team and training mode i mean you know it doesn't really make any difference to the, the actual core game and the latest strip data obviously there will be an update in october as well which we can see down there below following the scheduled update in early october these clubs and leagues will have their latest strip data reflected so yeah if they haven't made it in in this update if they haven't got all the kits in for this update say that you know like for example barcelona only unveiled their third kit publicly um and officially, what was it, yesterday or today? Uh, so they mightn't have that in in the latest update that we are going to be getting in eFootball 2023 tomorrow. But look, lads, it, I mean, I, I'm at, I, I've am at i been at pains. Obviously, I, you'll probably notice from the up, uploads that I've been doing on YouTube, um, I haven't really been playing as much eFootball Dream Team. Now, there's been a couple of reasons for that, obviously. Um, but mostly, I just haven't really enjoyed V1.1.4. And I've been very open about that and said that I taught V1.0. You know, I played over 100 games in that in that first maybe two to three to four week period. Um Obviously, this is just a roundup of the news. You can check out my other video for that while I'm having a chat with you. But I just wasn't very happy with V1.1.4. I think that the responsiveness, I think that there's just a lot of crazy stuff happening with interceptions and a lot of stuff happening um, that I've kind of gone away from it. So I am looking forward to see what gameplay additions they make. They obviously unveiled a trailer for Inter as well, confirming that partnership. And again, you got a little trailer with a couple of in-game uh, stuff and also the youth center that they have as well, similar to the AC Milan partnership lads we can see a couple of screen grabs there from the trailer um and they've got konami in 
the dugouts there as well for the, the training pitch. Um, and again, that's very similar to the AC Milan ones. So it's just a bit of a roundup of news in case you guys missed it. Um, it is similar to the Arsenal uh, one that they continued their partnership there with the North London club. So obviously they just extended that. And there are some nice little clips there and nice little screenshots but um, of in-game. But yeah, let's look. It is what it is in terms of if Dream Team is not for you, I mean, it's not going to be for you. You know, we're not getting Master League tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, it, like, Dream Team is going to be the focus until it's not, if that's if that makes sense. And that's harsh, and that's, you know, me being a little bit blunt about it. And it's something that I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not jumping from the rooftops or shouting from the rooftops and mixing up my sayings, but that, 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 that that's the way it is. But that is the way it is at the moment in terms of like, you know, until Dream Team isn't the sole focus, like Dream Team is going to be the sole focus until that isn't the case. And we have Master League, we have become a legend or we have offline modes. We are getting lot of online lobbies in October for console. Um, but like until the Dream Team isn't the focus, like we can't really talk or discuss anything that isn't apart from getting on a video and, you know, lambasting the fact that them modes aren't there. I mean, them modes aren't there. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it sucks, but it is what it is in terms of Dream Team is where the mode is at at the moment, you know, and if you don't like Dream Team, you don't like the concept, you don't like playing online, then there is probably nothing here for you at the moment in terms of, um, you know, if you're not an online player, the same way as if you don't play Warzone and you buy Call of Duty, you're just going to play the 10 hour campaign in Call of Duty and then it's just sitting on your shelf, you know, because you're not interested in the online aspect of it. Some people are happy to do that. Some people will smash online for the next 2000 hours. So, Look, it is what it is in terms of that. And I know, again, people um, are going to complain and stuff, but let's see what happens. I'm more interested in seeing the gameplay tweaks. I think a couple of tweaks here and there to V1.4's gameplay, bring it back more in line with V1.0 could be huge. You know, slow down the pace a little bit. Obviously, we've got crazy teams now at the moment in terms of like team strength and all that. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. I like to kind of keep a very even keel on it. I mean, I I'm I don't know what my expectations are, but I want to see what your guys' comments are below in the replies or in the comments. So let me know what you guys think about eFootball23. Are you hyped? Are you not? Are you looking for big changes? Are you looking for very little changes? I know some people that I've spoken to are absolutely loving eFootball at the moment and loving Dream Team and love them building squads and playing the game and going up to divisions. So it is a mixed bag with the with the feedback that I'm getting. So let me know, get your voice out there, and I'll be back later with another video. Hope you enjoyed the video, lads. Peace.